Hi folks, welcome back. We're going to start finishing up our uh, Santa here. Um, you should have it done to this point. What I had done uh, offline is I finished up the, uh, rounded off the top of the boot. Um, that will be white of course with red. And then this uh, also becomes red. I don't round that off. You can if you want to. I may decide to do so later, but I think I'll leave it the way it is and the rope. As you can see on the rope here, if I can just show it to you really quickly, um, I rounded off the the very very edge, okay? It looks like this when you do your stop cut. And when you go back you need to take your knife and I took my time to resharpen my knife and I'm going to explain that in a minute here for those of you that are kind of new to it. What you need to do is take the tip of your knife and go back around and just round it off. There's nothing nicer than having a nice sharp knife. If you don't know how to sharpen, take the time to learn how to do it. Because um, this is the most frustrating part of wood carving is when you're cutting and you're tearing the wood instead of slicing it like you're seeing here. Um, it makes it much more enjoyable. And I know some of you have a hard time with that. Find somebody in a club or something that knows how to sharpen. Everybody will have their own method of sharpening, okay? I'm um, no exception to that. I might, I might carve, um, I might sharpen a certain way today and maybe change it or, uh, you know, to define it a little bit more later. But you'll learn as you go. So what you want to do is you want to round all that off. And then this is also your tassel in the front. So what you want to do here is you just want to take it and sweep it upward. Sorry about the last three videos were a little bit dark. My setting was wrong on that. I apologize for that. It's still it's still clear. It just looks a little bit on the reddish side, and I'm sorry about that. But um, I noticed it after I had loaded them up and took a look at them. Now you want to take all those knife those pencil marks off before you paint. You know you're going to go back and clean up your carving. All right. Once you round off those two, what you want to do is do take your knife sideways. We're going to get into the micro set in a little, little bit here because we're going to start putting the beard in. But what you want to do is take your and put a little V cut in. One, see how I did that? Slanted it a little bit. All right. And I have one going across so I'm going to hold it. You can put a center line stop cut if you want and go from either side if that's easier for you. And then I'm going to just put the tassel portion. I'm going to make three lines, turn it upside down, and go the other direction. It's just, you can use your little V tool for this too if you decide to do it that way. All right, so that's your tassel. All right, for your rope. And the same thing here. We went in this direction. Again, we're going to go this direction. We're going to put one little slant in here. All right. And just kind of follow that around. Go to the back. And this is your rope. You know, it's wrapped around him. So, now if it's easier for you, you can do one side and then flip it over and then match it with the tip of the knife, too. Whichever is easiest for you. Whatever you feel comfortable doing. But if you don't know how to do these little cuts, take a practice piece. Just take any piece of basswood you may have and practice whether it's an eye or a nose or an ear or whatever you decide to um, that you need work on. All right, and That's the only way you're going to learn how to do things is by practicing and doing it. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do um, is the beard. Now, as you can tell, the beard's pretty well done and the eyebrows need to be done. So I have these little micro sets that I bought. Oh, I bought two sets. They're not cheap. They're like $40 for a set of four or six, depending what you're getting. So I spent about $80 on these, but they are the handiest little things. See that very small little V cut? This is a 2A and it's from, um, it's a micro carving tool, okay? 
So Dockyard is what I use. Um, not that uh, others can't be as good, but um, uh, that's what I use. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here and we're going to start doing the mustache. Now I'm going to just start taking little strokes upward. Now you have to be kind of mindful. I always go to the edge first for some reason because they're I don't want to start digging it in too far that I hit the cheek at, on the top. And I'm just going to follow that out to the center. Alright, and then I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to try to finish it out. Now I'm going to go against the grain a little bit here, so just be real careful. Take a little... Notice how I have my thumb resting on it. All right, so that's kind of the look that you're trying to get. All right, I'll do the other side offline. And the same thing with the beard. You want to go up. And if you want to make a swirly line a little bit, you can curve it. You notice my thumb keeps it from going too far because I'm really cutting with this part of the hand. This is just to give me leverage. So a lot of control is through these four fingers on the top of the hand. Okay. And if your tool is good and sharp, folks, you will not be slipping and sliding all over because you're not going to put a lot of pressure on it. So notice I'm not putting a lot of pressure on this. I'm just taking little strokes here to get around the beard here. And I'm just, you know, and later on I'll go back and I'll redefine. I'll take areas that have not a whole lot of, and I'll go back over it, okay? So it gives it that kind of wavy look to it. Then I turn it over and I do the bottom part or the part towards the body. Just be mindful where this edge portion is hitting because you will hit things. You may have to take your knife and clean it up a little bit, but for the most part it comes out pretty good. And if you're going against the grain, which I will be doing here in a second, uh, just take little strokes and then go back and follow. Now you can do this with a knife and a lot of my my carvings in the beginning I did it with a knife. I found this is so much easier and so much nicer sometimes to see um, see the difference. I love it. That just works out really well. Also I'm going to do a little bit here underneath. Um, it's going to, I'm going to probably do it with a knife because it's so small up here because I don't want to be hitting the hat up there. So what you want to do is take your regular knife and just go up here and put little V cuts in. Okay. Very slightly. I'll just do a couple there. I'll do the rest where I can see it better. But I'm going to go up all the way around here doing that. So that's his eyebrows. And I'm going to probably extend it down a little further. Alright. So that's how you do the beard. That's how you do the tassels. Our project is pretty well complete. Oh, no, it's not. I'll be right back. <laughs> A couple more things yet I want to tell you. All right, I'll be right back.